Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to work with 3D LUT files here inside of Photoshop Elements. And if you like this video, hit that like button, hit share, hit subscribe, and click on that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. A LUT file is a color grading file that is commonly used in more advanced and higher end graphics programs like Adobe Photoshop. It's also used in video programs like Adobe's Premiere Pro. And it can contain all of your basic color saturation, contrast, luminance, and hue information all in that one file, allowing you to take that one file once you have that set of information and apply it to several different photographs and give them all the exact same settings. So it's very useful in a production setting. It's very useful if you want to have a consistent look across a series of photographs. Now unfortunately, Photoshop Elements doesn't normally allow you to work with these files unless you bring in a plugin and that's what I'll be showing you here. The Elements Plus plugin has a utility that will allow you to work with LUT files here inside of Photoshop Elements. I'm going to first show you a quick example here, just a simple one. I have a couple made up here. There is a basic one right there. It's kind of a basic lightening up setting. And here is one a bit more warming. Both of these are from LUT files. And again, the nice thing about this is that this could be copied to a whole series of images and they would all have the exact same settings. Okay, let me show you how you can apply a LUT file here inside of Photoshop Elements. And we'll go over here to Effects. And that's using the Color and Tone module from Elements Plus. Let me bring that up. There we go. And if you look here, the color and tone, make sure you're on the RGB setting on the left hand side and scroll down. You'll see color lookup right there. Double click on that and that brings us in. Now it makes a new layer and applies the settings to the new layer. That allows you to show or hide the settings. You also can tone the settings down by bringing down the opacity on that layer. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll choose OK. In here, we have three choices the 3D LUT file, abstract, and the device link. Most of the time, you'll be seeing 3D LUT files, so we'll be talking about that one here. Now, these are files that have the .cube, C-U-B-E, extension. And if you do a search on Google for Photoshop LUT, you'll find loads of these that can be downloaded. Let's see how this is done. First off, the Elements Plus comes with a series of samples right down here. Notice the .cube extension. Different effects will be appropriate for different kinds of pictures. Some of these work very poorly for this picture, some work very well. It depends again upon your picture. Just go ahead and look through these. Here's this acid cube. There's coarse texture. Here's a cold contrast. Here's a desaturate cools. And here's a desaturate warms. If you come down a little ways down here, here's saturate neutrals. I kind of like that one, kind of interesting. And then here's a soft texture effect. Here's sunshine, that's one of the ones that I used in my example. Here's a warm contrast and here's a warm glow. And again, you can apply these over and over again so that every single one of your images has exactly the same settings. Now the nice thing about this is that you also can download these and then load those in. I have some of those up here. And I just downloaded these from online. A little free site that I found had a few of these for free. And it's a site called Purple 11. I'll also put that address in the description if you want to go ahead and take a look at that. But again, just a bunch more files in here, a bunch more of these LUT files. And one of the ones that I like here is this Once Upon a Time. You bring that one in, just click on that, choose Load, and it loads that one in. There we go. So again, really easy to use. Choose OK. If we then go back over here to Layers, you'll see there is that kind of lookup table right here. And I can show or hide that, and I can adjust the opacity on that to control how much of that is being applied. There's not a lot you can do with this. You can adjust your opacity. You also can use the layer mask here to hide parts of this from different parts of your image. So I could keep my original figure in the middle and then have that for the outside area or vice versa, whichever you like. You can't edit this though. If I double click on this, it says that this was made in Photoshop and cannot be edited here in Elements. Also, see there's the pencil with the cross through it. So you can't adjust or edit any of these specific settings, but you can apply them and you can control how much is happening in here with the opacity setting. You also can blend these into your image using your standard blend modes. Let me just scroll down through here and I'll show you a few of these different blend modes. 
There we go. So you have some additional options in here with the blend modes as well, giving you just a very large range of possible looks and adjustments. Now, if, if you had a look that you happen to like, like right here possibly, or right here, simply apply this LUT to your different pictures and then give them all the exact same blend mode and they will have the same look on your images. I'll bring up a browser window and I'll show you where I found those new LUT files. Right here at the site called purple11.com and again I'll put this link in the description. And if you scroll down in here, he has these different LUT files, some examples in here of what they look like. You can kind of you know, pull this back and forth to see what the effect is. And they'll have different qualities of effect depending upon the quality of your images and the subject matter. But again, great little download pack. This is just a direct download no email required, nothing else. It just downloads onto your hard drive as a zip file. Open that up and then you have those 12 LUT files. Now, the other program here is Elements Plus and this is the plugin that allows you to run those LUT files inside of Photoshop Elements. Now the plugin costs $12 to install on your system. I don't get anything if you buy this. This is just a program that I happen to like using. I'm not affiliated with these guys in any way. But I buy this for every single version of Photoshop Elements that I get and it's a great little plugin. So there you go. That's working with these LUT files inside of Photoshop Element. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. That really helps out my channel, keeps me going here. Click on share and of course always make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you'll get notifications of my new videos. And take a look at the complete training course I have for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.